laugh at the notion of stopping the oceans from rising when I can tell you there are engineers right now working on making sure these subways of lower Manhattan do not flood in the near future because of that. That will be in documentaries as a moment of just what were they thinking madness. I have to say, um, the, I think you're right that it was an effective line about feeling good the first day, of the day of, that you elected him. I felt pretty great the day that he announced that we killed bin Laden. And the announcement, uh, the, the inclusion of the bin Laden death in uh, the speech by Mr. Romney I actually thought was rather magnanimous compared to the way that other Republicans, that all of the other national security speeches, including John McCain, including Condoleezza Rice, had made no mention of that whatsoever as it had nothing to do with it. Condoleezza Rice asked after the fact about, about that by Andrea Mitchell, and she claimed the death of bin Laden as a victory for the Bush administration, uh, which was astonishing. So to hear him do that was somewhat magnanimous. Um, but Chris, I understand you wanted to jump in here. Chris, Chris you yeah. saw one line, remember he had that long uh, sort of negative riff at the end, and then he came to this line, which I found wonderful, that the United America will care for the poor and the sick, will honor and respect the elderly, and will give a helping hand to those in need got zero applause, <laughs> even after they were primed in all those episodes of applause lines, and they were totally primed. When they heard this, they, as a, as a room, stopped applauding. I thought that was so telling about tonight. Let me tell you about the... Not, a good, not a good moment for the Republican Party to not be at all a compassionate conservative party, at least in that moment. No, that part does not make the commercial. That part does not make the edit. Um, I, I got to tell you about the, the Republican